Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur. I'm James, and in this video, we're going to be fixing some of the trim on the exterior of my Porsche 996. Let's go check it out. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? been on the list for a while. This particular piece of trim on my 996 has been bugging me from the moment it was delivered a couple of years ago and we started working on this project car. It's in fact the plastic trim that the cowling, I think it's called, that sits at the bottom of the windscreen and runs across where the windscreen wipers are. Now this piece was faded, which isn't the end of the world because you can use chemicals to restore um, the black plastic for a period of time and it's usually pretty temporary, but um, you know, you can, you can keep them looking good for months and months at a time. Um, but the seal had broken, a couple of the, uh, the, the trim clips had also broken, and so it was kind of sticking up and floating a little bit too high on either side, and it just, it just looked wrong. Um, probably, you know, to the average passerby, no one would have ever noticed, but to the Porsche enthusiast, I'm pretty sure people noticed it almost straight away. And I know that even driving the car, just seeing that that little piece of trim was sitting up a little bit too high on either side, it was enough to drive me nuts. Anyway, but you might ask why did it take so long for me to uh, replace it? Well, you know, that's a good question and I don't know. It's just one of those things that I never got around to. Um, but just a quick video today. In this video, we're gonna be going through, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you the trim piece, um, the parts uh, I got from Gowden Porsche Parts. Uh, that'll be in the description of the video. Um, that's it, let's just go straight to it. Do a quick review um, and for anyone interested there's your cabin air filter uh, looks like mine's been squished in there a little bit um, but that's very easy to replace even if you're not removing the cowling um, but yeah essentially pretty straightforward one big screw in the middle uh, t27 torx um, and then 13 millimeter bolts on the two windscreen wiper arms um, and then once you take the bolts out, in order to release the arms, you just have to pull them forwards and then they just drop straight off. Um, and that's essentially it. Uh, only other thing to note is that there's a wiring harness down here um, that plugged into the front of the trim. And also there's a rubber hose for the, the wiper wash that goes across the front of the trim and is held in place, just pops there. Um, but that, that was really straightforward to take out, you know, two or three minutes, super easy. Um, there's no real risk of breaking anything. So now we can go over and take a look at what the trim looks like. All right, so here's the piece that just took off. Um, you can see that the gasket here has started to fall apart. Um, and I'm actually going to copy its location um, and uh, put it back on the same way because I've got a, a new gasket on the new piece of trim. Um, you can see here, this part of the retaining clip is broken. And same thing on this side, the piece of the retaining clip is broken. Uh, I'm gonna have to relocate the wiper wash jets. So these essentially pop out and then let's turn it over. You can see here, um, here is the, um, Here's the wiring connector. And actually, I only had one wiring connector. There are actually plugs for both. Um, so one may have actually fallen out, um, which might explain why only one of these jets has been working. Um, two screws here, again, T27s to take out, pretty straightforward. Uh, and then this is the water hose. Um, and also the water hose then connects here as well. And you can see that inside the, the, the hood there, um, I've got one of these off. So 
These guys essentially lift up and pop out. Um, so I'm gonna transfer all of this over to the new piece and then I'm good to go. And then just another quick note, um, taking off the bolts, I think they were 13, 14 millimeter bolts. Um, taking them off here, off the wiper blades was super easy. Um, in order to get the wiper off itself, you just had to fold, this is quite a nice kind of spring. You have to just fold this back away from the window um, and then it allows you to release this quite, quite easily. So let's take a look at the new one. Here you can see I've got the, the, the holding or, you know, the holes basically for the water jets. Um, this is where the, the cable's gonna go, the, the water cable. This is where the two uh, wiring clips are gonna hold on to. Um, and if we see on the back here, um, you can see here where the retaining clips on the other one were broken, these are nicely still in place. And you'd hope so, because it's a brand new part. Part number here, in case anybody wants it. All right, so before I go any further, um, I'm gonna put the gasket on which uh, they gave me with the part. Um, and that's gonna go on next, and then we'll go from there. checking in on another video, another DIY video. I'm not sure how many people out there are gonna actually find this one particularly useful. Um, but you know, it's another piece of trim. There might be somebody out there who has broken one just like me, and now it's looking factory fresh. Um, I'm excited in a couple of weeks time, my friends and I are gonna be going to the Tail of the Dragon um, in the Smoky Mountains. That's gonna be coming up towards the end of July, and uh, I'm hoping to get a lot of footage there. Um, more DIY videos in the pipeline, more 911s, more Cayennes. Um, it's going to be a fun summer. Thanks for checking in, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.